Can y'all see me? I look a little ratchet right now. That's better. One second though. kitchen i'm about to make myself breakfast it's 11 20 but literally the video that's up on youtube right now right now took me until this morning to upload because i edited last night went to sleep woke up this morning uploaded as usual youtube takes forever to upload a video finally get it uploaded so now i'm vlogging and yes you will be seeing me in this one Christmas shirt for the rest of Christmas. This is my favorite shirt. It used to light up, but um, yeah, I kind of broke it. But I'm gonna give you a little debut of my shirt. I made it myself. I bought I bought the shirt and I put all all the stuff on it. So it says Mary, Mary, Mary. Did this cruise Yes, ma'am. Get your ass down here now. Tell me something. What does it say right here? What does it say? Read read that for me. Meowy. So why in the hell you say Mary? Just take off for sure. Look you. Sorry. You have brain? Go read a damn book. All right, let's get back to the video. I don't know if y'all can see that. Cat miss. I'm not a cat person, but shoot, I thought it was cute. And then they have little cats with the Google. I'm missing the eye. Well, I guess it's just the one eye cat. Cat with the googly eyes, like. <laughs> googly eyes, you know? So, let's get into the video. All right, you guys. So right now I am currently in the kitchen. As you can see, I'm cooking a little breakfast for breakfast. If you don't know, you know right now, um, I absolutely love breakfast. Every morning, I probably eat probably almost the same variation of breakfast. Eggs, bacon, um, potatoes, probably like a croissant or some kind of bread, maybe a waffle, maybe a pancake, but it's always eggs and potatoes. Every time I eat breakfast, it's always eggs and potatoes. So right now... I'm about to scramble me some eggs. I got some potatoes on the in, in a frying pan right here. These are homemade potatoes I diced myself. <laughs> so I'm making some homemade um, hash browns here. And then I'm gonna fry up, because we don't have no break bacon, I have summer sausage. I also love, love, love a summer sausage. So I'm gonna cut up, I just cut up a couple pieces of my sausage. I'm about to fry it up. Y'all about to be cooking with me. Cooking, cooking with me. Hey, cooking with me. Cooking, 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 I'm hoping it's three o'clock I have to be at the airport. One second. Yep, so I was right. Three o'clock, I gotta be at the airport. Well, 3.30 is my signing time, so I'm just gonna cook me some little breakfast, probably drink some tea as usual. And then, um, once again, 
um this time i get off work a little earlier than i did yesterday so i will be re re recording after so i'm gonna go ahead and cook breakfast with you guys and then after i cook breakfast i'm gonna catch you guys after work a little aerial view of what i got going on in this frying pan right here right here right here so this is my hash browns i'm just frying up, frying up, frying up. i'm actually about to make a little space because i want to make this a little quicker come on potatoes this for this frying pan like is a a spinning dish oh wicked 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 stop and i'm just going to throw in that summer sausage just fry that up fry it up fry it up fry it up fry it up yes i love summer sausage look at how much sausage i'm about to eat baby yes yeah yeah yes turn this up a little bit Bitch, I need you to cook. Cook for me, cook. Mm -mm, cook for me, cook. Cook for me, cook. Cook, cook, cook for me, cook. So let's cover that. Boop. And let's get the bowl to fry the eggs. I gotta put on my protection. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna leave that uncovered because those potatoes and that sausage is almost close to being done. And I'm gonna start with my eggs. I do three eggs. Who else puts milk in their eggs? Because I always put milk in my eggs. Like every time I cook eggs, I put milk in it. I just think it makes it more fluffy and nice. I would do four this morning, but because sometimes I do four, sometimes I about yeah, done. And I kind of burnt off the tail a bit. Put the protection back on. Over one more time. Let's put some. A little bit of milk, just a touch. Okay, touch more. This stupid. Oh, here we go. I think these sausages are done. Sausage a little burnt. Burnt, 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 burnt. Sausage, burnt, sausage, burnt, sausage. All right. 
I'm gonna rinse these off so I can use them again. Ooh, this butter has been out way too long. It's a little, a little soft now. It's butter. I think I'm gonna do some orange juice today. I'm not gonna make it this year. I'm gonna do some orange juice. So I think I'm gonna do and some toast. This, this right here is the god. This is the best bread right here. Butter bread. Not that white, chi not that white uh, bread. Butter bread. If you don't know by now, I'm at extra. So, I gotta garnish my orange juice. If I can get this thing open. With a strawberry. Ooh, look how nice and juicy this is. Mm. I think I'm gonna go smaller though. I don't need that big of a strawberry. How I do my scrambled eggs, I like fry them like they're, I'm frying like a regular egg and then I scrape at the bottom. Make sure I get all the egg up. Cheese, some days I don't. Today I'm not gonna do a cheese. Look. That egg right here needs to fry. Mm. I think I just want one piece of bread. Don't want all the fat to go to my head. Y'all probably like, you skinny bitch. You skinny bitch. So. I don't mean what I, I want to be fat later on, so let me wait. I should eat everything I see in sight. Nope, nigga. All right. Put it on 
done. Let's put that aside to like cool off. All right, so this is my breakfast. I got the summer sausage, my eggs, and my potatoes. And if you don't know, now you know, nigga. Gots to put the ketchup. Gots to get the ketchup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, well, Oop, almost dropped y'all. Camera's always freaking dirty. All right, well, you guys, so that is it for right now. I'm going to go ahead and watch my African movies because if you don't know, now you know. I always watch my African movies while I eat breakfast. I'm going to go ahead and eat my breakfast. And then a couple, I'll start to get ready to go to work. So I will catch y'all after work. Deuces. Oh, you guys, I'm back. I'm back. I just got off of work. My mom made this bomb ass soup. I'm sorry, I already ate it all, but I wish I could show you guys. She made this bomb ass soup with the turkey from our Thanksgiving dinner. And like, let me tell you something. If you if you know, Thanksgiving dinner be, be stretched out long as hell. You make sandwiches, you make soups, you make pies, everything. Everything you can figure out to eat all this food that you don't cook for Thanksgiving. And my mom made the bomb. When I say mom diggity, this soup is so good. Like, I'm not even thinking about what's in it. I'm just like... That's how darn good the soup is. So, I did want to go to Walmart tonight to go and get some stuff to do sugar cookies because I want to do sugar cookies with the girls tomorrow. When they come home from school. If you don't know what girls I'm talking about. Um, my cousin and my niece is staying with me. And um. But I'm so tired. Like when I say I'm tired. Like I almost fell asleep. On the highway coming home. Tired. So I decided to just end the vlog. By um like. Doing a story time. I'm going to do a story time on. Hmm. What should my story time be about? I don't think it's going to be a story time. It's more like my experience dating. Like, So I'm 25 years of age. I live in Dallas. And um, I have never had a relationship past six, seven months. A steady relationship past six, seven months. And I, um, I've um, i really been like beating myself about up about it and trying to figure out if I'm the issue, if I'm the problem. Which I know I'm the issue, I'm the problem because I'm picking the wrong people obviously like i picked a lot of i have a, had a lot of bad decisions in my life on spouses on not even spouses like significant others and recently i had one that kind of broke my heart because the way this one ended is like it's not technically ended but it is ended you know so um basically i know this guy since i was in middle school we did it in middle school we did it in high school we did it in college and now we're trying to date again and it's like every time we get to a point where we're dating either i mess it up or he messes it up so this time ooh, sorry guys i'm so tired to so my eyes and this lamp is burning my eyes. Sorry. So my eyes are watering and itching. I look a hot mess. Sorry. Anyways. So basically, yeah. So this guy, like, I've known for over 10 years now. Over 10 years. And I was like, this is the one. This is the one. My mom loves him. My dad loves him. My family loves him. Everybody's like, oh, my gosh. Obi this, Obi that. Oh, oh my God. I said his name whatever um so basically we started a relationship over again you know third time's a charm so i thought and 
basically i feel like this person let the relationship die on purpose because i really tried like i we don't live in the same state i flew back and forth from here to orlando all this all the time to see this person and it was like i felt like they weren't doing it enough like doing enough to keep me around doing enough with us together like i would go there and we would spend most of the time i'm there in the house we're not going anywhere we're not doing anything so um just before october like a month before october i decided i said i'm not going i'm not coming anymore if you don't plan anything and we talked about it and then a couple of weeks later they, they the person texts me and we talked about it again and i'm just like bruh i just told you the reason why i'm not coming in he was like i feel like everything is stagnant da, 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 da. of course everything is static because i i made a request or like an ultimatum and you haven't done anything about it like literally i said i literally said listen i want to be with you i want to do things with you but i need the effort i'm not gonna be sitting here and every day coming o over and like you know cooking you dinner and waiting for you to get home if you are not putting any energy into it, like put some more energy into it. Like one, one date to the movies is not enough energy. Okay. So basically we had that conversation twice and I thought the second time the per this person would have gotten it and gotten it together, but it's been about to be five months since that incident happened five because it's october it's like november october was it november october january yeah so october november december three months it's about to be december makes the third month it's about to be four for about to be three to four months since i've literally gone over there for this person and i've literally gone to orlando and just not you know stayed at the person's house before and it's crazy because i don't think the person cares i don't think they give two f frizz nucks about it so basically after we had that whole conversation or whatever i ended up going to orlando again and i went for my god babies um my god baby's um birthday or whatever if i have the videos and pics still i'll post them right here but yeah i went for my god baby's birthday and basically he came to it and i was i was like my heart was like racing when he came like my heart was racing i was like oh my god i haven't seen you in so long because technically we're together but technically we're not together because we haven't like broken up or anything physically but we're not talking to each other we're, there's no communication there's no text messages no nothing except for like once in a while hey what you doing the, the basic shit you know so the this person walks into the room to the party of my best friend her daughter's party he walks in he greets my best friend with a big hug and what's up and then he looks at me and says what's up hello hey? This shit pissed me off. I was so, y'all, I was so pissed off. I was so mad. I was so irritated. I was so sick Ugh, to my stomach because of that. Instantly, soon as he, I, I went to the bar and got a drink. I, I said I had to get a drink because I was going to, I was going to put my hands on him. That's it. It was going to be over, knock his lights out, like, because, or slap him, like, one hard smack, like what what the hell like what was that so eventually i started drinking or whatever you know drinking and i got up the courage to like pull him aside i like addressing him and i'm like why did you even do that that's so embarrassing like i'm supposed to be your girl but not really your girl but you're not even saying nothing to me you're not you're not giving me no hug you're not saying nothing you just what's up 
Like I'm some fucking stranger. That's like so wrong in so many le levels. The person apologized. So me being me, of course they apologized. So I'm like, mm -hmm, thank you for apologizing. Yay. Okay. So I literally like, um, I make him a plate of food, everything. You know, try to be really nice. I hang out with, around him when he was at the party. You know, just trying to be like on good terms. And after the party, I originally asked him to come and get me, but then I changed my mind because I wanted to go stay with my best friend because she was going to have an after party. So I invite. I told him that she was having an after party, but he it seemed like he didn't want to come to it, so he didn't come. And that's the last time I saw him. Now, what pissed me off the most about this whole entire situation was this person claimed so bad that they could not do the things that I needed them to do, like take me out because they didn't have money. But here you are posting on Snapchat and Instagram, buying all these t-shirts from your homeboys talking about support your own, support your own, but you can't take me nowhere. Like, I can see how much you really care about this relationship. So I'm just like, I'm a little bit of crushed. I'm a little bit hurt about it. But at the end of the day, I'm like, I got, I got to move on. I'm not, I would not give that person a chance at the end. That's never happening again. I'm not doing it again. I don't care what comes over me. I don't care if I become a zombie and he's the last person on the earth to eat. I wouldn't even eat him. I don't want nothing to do with it. Like, we're cool and all, but like... That's so trifling. I don't understand why men are so trifling. Like, I have so many trifling men stories y'all don't understand. Like, so many trifling men stories. But, in case I don't want to use this one as a story, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all the story of how a f how men are trifling. Like, really, 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 really trifling. But anyways, yeah. So, it's just, it was just so crazy to me. Like, I don't understand, like, how you could be so in love with somebody, tell them you love them, and, like, you just let shit go like that. You just let things do what it, it's doing, do whatever. I tried in the beginning. Now it's time for you to put in some effort. It can never happen. Like, I, these kind of men are really annoying to me. Men that do not know how to plan nothing. They don't know how to be romantic. I don't like that. You can't buy me flowers, buy me my favorite type of wine when it's not convenient for you. Like, you can't take me to a museum or take me to the park or, like, cook me dinner and like, and buy me wine and... Let's sit down and have a big conversation, like kind of like a candlelit dinner or whatever. You can't, you you can't do that. So that's sh that's like really like really a big deal for me. So I I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, let me know down in the comment section below if you've ever. Hold on, my phone's gonna die if I don't plug it in. I just realized that. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've ever been in a situation like that where you was really into somebody and then they just, like, disappeared. Like, pra probably practically disappeared. Like, it's, like, weird disappeared. Like, just... But anyways, you guys, I'm, like, I'm so sorry. I'm, like, not full of energy right now. I'm so tired. I'm just... Way to go to sleep. So, without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the little bell to get a notification every time I post. Alright, you guys. It was great chatting with you. This is Vlogmas Day 2. I'll see y'all in my next vlog. Bye!